Hey guys, welcome back to The Interceptor. We are here with war number four of season 51 and Matrix has matched up against Bolt. We have seen these guys before. They have finished in Masters before, so we know that we have to play well if we want to win this war. Um, I do do a little bit of mastery setups before I start my fight, so I'll just skip ahead to when I start it. Uh, but we have five fights today. We're going path four, section one, over to path seven, section two. And then we also have a rank three, seven star onslaught to fight on node 48. One of the last minis. So unfortunately, after the assignments came out, the person that was clearing node 46 took over a day to take to actually take the fight down, despite the fact that I tried to get them to take it down earlier, just didn't really work out, unfortunately. But, I yeah, so basically I had to clear really late. Like, there's only three hours left in war, and I believe I was the last three fights in my battle group. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's right. Oh, no. That's definitely not right, because the boss wasn't down yet. Okay, never mind. Anyways. Um, on our first fight here, we have this Void. This Void is a pretty normal placement here. He's placed here pretty much every node. Unfortunately, he does dash back several times, so I'm not able to remove the debuffs from myself right away, and I do lose almost 20% of my health just from that, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but the Fury that he gets is really potent, and it's kind of just the perfect node for him. Unfortunately, I am going to have to throw SP1 twice in this fight just to get those debuffs off of me but it's not really that big of a deal. I think I'm going to throw it again um, right here. Yeah, because I got two two uh, debuffs on me, and I'm taking for, what's that, 7,000 I was taking for. But, yeah, not really a difficult fight void there, so it does go down really easily. This next fight here, this Rintra, I was going back and forth between using Kate or Nick Fury. I ultimately decided on Nick Fury, and the reason was that uh kate had the fight right after this and i didn't want to waste potions and i knew that I, if i was using nick fury i did not have to heal him but one thing i overlooked is the fact that all four fights on path four in section one and two they all have a node that increases their ability accuracy by a flat number and what that means is that any champ abilities that are percentage based or luck based basically just always trigger so for rintra that would be his mystical charges so he is always going to trigger a mystical charge every single time i hit him which is going to make it extremely annoying for me to keep them under lock and right there unfortunately i do get hit right before i was about to throw a special two uh but i'm being very cautious that i not um knock him down when he is against his wall because then he will go unstoppable but the fight's still looking fine here uh we have to throw a lot of heavy attacks unfortunately but that is gonna make us strong debuffs pretty often right here i believe it is yeah so right there, I tried to parry the dash. I don't know why I tried to parry that, um, the, the SP2, because I could have easily taken the block damage. But now Nick Fury's at almost full health. So, I mean, I'm not using him for another fight, but it's still cool that he's in second life and he's at that much health. This is the annoying fight that the title is about. AI refuses to throw specials. So, when I got my team, I only needed Kate Bishop for one fight. In fact, Hulkling was taking two, Nick Fury was taking two, so I had one spot for just this Photon, and I went back and forth between a few champions before I ultimately decided on Kate Bishop. And the reason I decided on Kate Bishop was because I had the plan of going into the fight with an SP1 boost and a Tranquilize pre-fight. And this does work. You can do this where you tranquilize her twice and then she will never trigger the debuffs on you. Unfortunately, 
Photon is going to throw literally zero special attacks in the first minute of this fight. I'm not joking. Literally none. And it's not like she didn't have the chance. She just never did it. Like there, she's crushed. That's twice she's been crushed. And instead of throwing special attacks, she dashes at me. You want to go for it again? Okay, now we're over to Caltrops. I'm trying to bait specials because if I don't bait specials, I can't push her against her wall. And yeah, that took her 45 seconds. Roughly 30 of which I was probably baiting for. And here at this point, I realize, okay, I'm not going to keep up these tranquilizes because if she doesn't throw a special how can i possibly keep up the tranquilizes i can't push her back i can't hit into her block reliably so yeah photon is being very fun um and here i am going to start getting debuffs on myself so she is going to start getting charges going to go for a heavy attack here to reset my cold snap and also remove the protection and i don't really have to worry about her charges unless i push her to a special so at this point in the fight i'm just gonna wait until her charges go away to actually hit her um and yeah there she never had a chance i i do know the spacing to counter to counter her heavy with a heavy which is that you have to dash back twice and then instantly throw heavy because she does have a reasonably fast recovery time but at the end of the day i didn't die the fight didn't get scary it's just that my whole plan of going in with tranquilize was completely ruined by the fact that the ai was just terrible the entire fight so here we have baron zemo on the next node and there is some stuff that can go on here where if you stand close to him he'll shrug off or he'll get debuffs shrug them off cleanse them and then put you in a root and start bleeding you uh but so to solve that problem we're just not going to stand by him we are just going to kill him really fast before that ever has a chance to happen. And unfortunately, um, I am going to have a missed input in this fight at a really unfortunate time when I was trying to end the fight. But I literally had like my medium attack, like right here. There, I was going for a medium attack. I was going to do a medium, light, light, medium combo. And with the fury, that would have killed him. Uh, but my input dropped like i swiped across and the input was just completely dropped and there was nothing i could do so i just blocked and baited out another heavy like it's not the end of the world but it definitely scared me for a minute i'm like oh shit and then i just calmed down and and you know ended the fight so here this is onslaught uh i've taken this fight before node 48 onslaught pretty common placement I've also taken this fight with Shocker uh, when he's on this node. Very easy matchup. You just got to trust yourself, hit into his block to gain power, dex his SP1s, and hit him with some fat SP2s. Now, unfortunately, I did have to burn two SP1 boosts in this war uh, because of what happened in the Photon fight because that fight took probably a minute longer than it should have. But it's not really that big of a deal because the store reset and I was back to full anyways after this. So I, like it really just doesn't matter. And then here I debated going in for a combo into my SP2. But I ended up deciding to just go for another unblockable right here because I knew I had the charges to do so. And that one actually hit really hard. So at this point I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe this fight is going to go a lot faster than I thought. And then here I'm able to just go straight into another SP2. So I'm like, oh shit, okay. My uh, SP2 is just hitting for so much damage. And I bait out the second L1. That is going to be the last L1 he gets to throw in this fight. So here I believe I need two. Oh no, I'm actually just going to do a couple hits. There, L2. And this kills easily. Way overkill. So very nice very clean fight in fact the entire war was clean except for like a couple hits i took in the rintra fight i think that's it right was that the only one? Oh yeah yeah it was just it was just the rintra fight because all the damage that i took in uh the kate fight was from block damage so that's my war 
I was pretty happy with my performance, and also I just want to shout out BG1, who once again had a fantastic war and only died one time. Uh, unfortunately, we did lose. We lost this war with a score of 9-7, to seven, so despite my BG only dying one time, the other two died collectively eight times. A little bit unfortunate, but... The other alliance did put up a good score. They had a few deaths less than us, so we can't really be that mad. But we do need to be better if we want to place Masters, so I am. That is a little unfortunate. I'm a little upset about that, but it's okay. We'll get over it. Um, and we are now 2-2 two and two on the season, and my death total is up to 1. Well, not up to 1. It's still at 1. It didn't go up. Uh, but my PSR is now at 18 out of 19 fights soloed or 95%. And my P <laughs> my PSR. And my deathless streak is up to 13 fights. So that's going to be all for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And I will see you all in the next one. Which should be a pretty fun war. Because I've actually got a rank 3 Quicksilver boss to take in that one. See you all later.